my name is Maxwell Stein and I play horn with the Calgary Philharmonic Orchestra. I have been with the orchestra now for about two years. Yeah, I think that sometimes it feels like you have to search, search out things that you're passionate about and sort of go after them. And I think that horn was not like that for me. Horn was very much thrown into my lap. I was 11 when I started playing horn and I was in a instrument fitting with my band director and he picked the horn up um, and then he played a note and it was just on the open horn, meaning there's no nothing, nothing pressed down. You just basically produce the note from here. And so he played the note and then he goes, okay, sing the note. And so I sang the note and he goes, okay, now play the note. And I'm, and I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking, how the heck am I supposed to play this note? I've never played this instrument before. I picked the horn up and the note came out. We both were like... <laughs> We both sort of looked at each other like this, and he was almost like shocked that I got it too. And then he was like, okay, I guess you're a horn player. And, you know, the rest is history, as they say. I think I've, I've always wanted to be a little bit different from other people. And so, I, like, I'm a big knitter. I love doing knitting. And knitting is not something that you necessarily would think someone who looks like me might do. And I prefer to knit sweaters. That's my main, that's my main thing. I love um, what's called Icelandic sweaters or uh, Scandinavian sweaters that have what's like a color work yoke that goes across. But so the, this is like an example. This is a sweater that I knit in probably three months. My, my average time is between like two and four. It depends how complicated the sweater is and it also depends on how thin the yarn is. And then this one is probably the most traditional Scandinavian Icelandic sweater. It looks like something that you would buy if you go to Iceland or that region of the world. I have tetras. They look like little piranhas. It's nice to have the tank because it basically is a very soothing thing to watch them swim back and forth, watch the water move, etc. Things like that. Kind of like bringing life into my place. So like having a fish tank, having plants, and like bringing the, the outside world in. Yeah, so my partner Mark and I met in August of 2020. Yeah, he's great. He's not in the music industry. He's in the food industry, which is something that we, we love and share a passion for together. He's an incredible chef, an incredible baker, and we've done a lot of activities together. We like to, we like to talk about plants. We like to bike. We, we love cross-country skiing, and Mark has learned so much about French horn, more than anyone would ever want to know about the French horn. And... I remember we were on a date and I realized that I only had two books in my backpack and one was about knitting and one was about French horn. And so I was like, do you want to read either of these? And so he took the French horn book and read like 60 pages of it about French horn methodology and everything. And I remember sitting there thinking like, this guy is really awesome. <laughs> my name is Maxwell Stein and I play horn with the Calgary Philharmonic Orchestra. I miss you all, I miss my colleagues and our audiences, I miss performing, but I look forward to seeing everyone hopefully soon in the fall, and I hope everyone has a wonderful summer and is excited for music to come back again very soon.